Who is Cat Harvey? Cat Harvey is a boss. I'm the wolf on Capitol Hill. I don't take no for an answer. I will be number one in the blogging and media game. Point blank, period. <laughs> I deserve bless a vacay. I feel better at work. I mean, whatever is worth, I give whatever I'm worth. It's Hakeem Harmon, aka DJ Anonymous. And every time I'm in DC, I'm rocking with my girl Kat Harvey. Success, nothing less. Hashtag SNL. You know what it is. It's going to be a hot summer. DJ Anonymous, support my girl Kat Harvey. We out here. Hey, what's up, world? I'm Kat Harvey, CEO of Success Not The Less. Today, I'm so excited to have a boss in the building who needs no introduction. One of the top DJs on the East Coast. He's the brand ambassador. He reminds me of Diddy because he's all about the money. He never makes any excuses, and he does it very well. So please welcome none of the entrepreneur, DJ Anonymous. Well, uh, a lot of people know me by DJ Anonymous. Uh, my name is Hakeem. I'm an entrepreneur, an entertainer. Um, own a couple companies to help people love love music love performing I'm originally from New Jersey and I live out here in DC been out here for 10 years graduated from Howard University and uh, just making it happen most people know you not only as an entrepreneur but as a DJ so when people come up to you you know with the mixtapes and so forth what is the best way that somebody can um, get put on without being too pushy or you know too like the rest in your opinion an artist should focus on developing relationships with a DJ or um, radio stations or bloggers, you know, invite them out to lunch. Have a three-month game plan, a six-month game plan, a 12-month game plan. There's honestly like the same 200 people at every main event that matters. So if you can find a way to show up at those events, show your face, have your product in hand, then you can really make some great things happen in a short amount of time. Congratulations on your daughter with you and your other half. You so um, I saw on Instagram you have this post that says a daughter needs a father to set the standard which she judges all men. So what do you mean by that? Just in a blessed position to be able to stay at home with my daughter every day. And she was born, it made me feel like I was reborn again. And basically I just want to make sure that she has everything that she needs. She comes out in the real world. She's always going to be able to say, well, my dad taught me about this already. So basically I'm just going to introduce her to everything that she needs to know about so that way she don't find it out the hard way. So many people work a nine to five or either they have a business necessarily understand the power of multiple streams of income. So can you speak about that, how important it is? Well, yeah, it's very important because um, I honestly, I love music, but I love the way that musicians get paid. Pretty much they do something one time, which is record an album. And while well, they record multiple albums, but that one album they record, they're able to tour off of it. They're able to sell merchandise. So basically, as a DJ, I'm able to use my brand to get behind other products and push them. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to have at least seven streams of income. That's what I was told. So basically, if you can make three thousand dollars a day, times three hundred and sixty-five days you're going to make over a million dollars. And I think that you could really do that if you have multiple streams of income. Some of the investments that you made up front in order to have, you know, your several success businesses and then your partnership with Uber and many other notable brands. Mm -hmm. Being a DJ, I just knew that the only way to really earn money is by performing. And I have to have a way where I could do something one time and I get paid for it over and over again. You always have to put your own money up in order to make the decisions that matter in, 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 in business. Three years ago, when I really got out there and decided to be an entrepreneur, people thought I was crazy, you know? And one of the biggest things that I always battled was balancing being an entertainer and balancing being an entrepreneur at the same time. Because sometimes when you do that, people say, well, he's no longer passionate about being a DJ because he has multiple businesses now, you know? So now, three years later, like being a homeowner, you know, under the age of 30, you know, driving a Mercedes Benz, having a Range Rover, buying my family things, you know, those are material things, but it just showed me that it was possible with a little hard work and investing in myself. Upcoming events or products do you have? We own a marketing agency called Team Blueprint LLC. We specialize in brand development. Under that umbrella, you have Team Blueprint University, which is a nonprofit I started to teach college students financial education, money management skills, credit building strategies because a lot of these concepts are not really taught in college also focused on my partnership with total fit alkaline water shameless plug tropics 
is my baby right now and that's a digital travel agency startup pretty much i work with uber and i, I love companies like airbnb and instacart tropics is uh, a digital travel agency is going to be catered to the everyday person but also to influencers like celebrities why should somebody do business with you i am more so into finding out what you're passionate about and bringing it out in you in a way that is like cool to make it a brand. I just think that every person is a brand. Any advice for any upcoming entrepreneurs? To be vulnerable. Like I just think that a lot of people try to apply a filter on every aspect of their life. You know, from social media to to just, you know, not being themselves around certain people. I just think that being vulnerable is going to help you get to the next level because people like to see the behind the scenes process of everything that's happening. That artists are so focused these days on the on the turn up in the present moment that they forget to talk about things that they may have went through. And even on the entrepreneurial journey, show the behind the scenes of a business meeting and then show the final result. So can you tell the world where they can find and connect with you at? We partner with an agency called Wake Up Star Media. They're based out of Miami. And um, her name is Rania. And uh, you can email her directly at Rania, R-O-N-N-I-A, at wakeupstar.com. And you can also follow me on social media, DJ Anonymous DC. And um, we'll connect. This branding mogul slash DJ slash everything else. He's definitely awesome. Um, I thank you so much for coming on the show you. today. It means thank a you. lot to me. Thank and so I see much. nothing but great things for you. Thank you so much. I'm Kat Harvey. Till next time, success, nothing less. <laughs>